Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the video. So I've used the app Wani Kani for studying Japanese for about two months now. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick overview of the software, what I think about it, and if I recommend it. So let's get right into the video. So when you get Wani Kani, first off, it's a browser application. I've also done this on my phone, but I had to go into the browser to use it, but it does have a nice setup on your phone, like it still looks nice and it's easy to use. It's just not an app, it's a browser-based space repetition system. This is kind of like Anki, but you don't have to do most of the work yourself. Like you don't set up the cards yourself or anything. This app will just teach you the kanji. So I don't have lessons right now, but I do have some reviews. So basically this means weekday, flat day, it's a weekday. So the, it works by showing the kanjis to you individually. You learn the meaning because it tells you. And then it gives you mnemonics so you can think about a story. And then the reading or the meaning or the word will come to mind. Actually, every time I seriously thought about the mnemonic, I did memorize it. So I definitely think it's something that works. Maybe not for everyone, but for me it does. Okay, so this kanji's reading is hey, and one of the readings for day, for this day kanji is jitsu. So hey jitsu means weekday. If you mess it up, it'll tell you down here. You can also listen to a woman saying it or a man saying it too, so that's convenient. Because then you can kind of listen to how that person says it, and then you can try to imitate them. Then they have the context that this word might be in. So, Heijutsu Daya. So I guess the train schedule for a weekday. This will. This is just a word combination. And then these here would be sentences that you can use, and then it has the direct translation. So if you want to, you could even just like copy the sentence if you think the sentence is useful and then stick it in Anki and then you can memorize it too. I use Anki while I also use Wanikani. I think the main goal with Wanikani is really to just learn kanji and the meanings and the readings. I have actually used some words from them, for example, like Nyuryoku, which is input. When I first saw it, I was like, this seems like a very specific word, but I was actually able to use it a few times since I saw it. So once your reviews are done, some days you'll get more lessons. Today does not seem to be one of those days for me. Any mistakes that you make, you can redo the lessons for them to just kind of do it more. You don't really have to, but you can if you want to. Like they don't expect you to. If you want to try to do this faster though and make less mistakes, then it's probably going to be worth doing it, but you don't want to burn yourself out because like on some days I'm having 100 or 200 cards even. So I'm on level four and a half right now. So I've done all the radicals, I've done all the kanji, but they're still showing me new vocabulary. I'll click over here on levels to show you. So I have the level four radicals and kanji done, but they still have like 50 more words of vocabulary they wanna show me. I think after I get a few more of the vocabulary words in, what they'll do is bring me to level five, and then I'll be getting level four vocabulary while I'm getting level five radicals and kanji. So this kind of helps you keep in mind the older words that you were learning. Like it helps them stick in your mind better because you're still using those kanji, but you're also still learning new kanji at the same time. For one kanji, that's pretty much all there is. I do recommend it. Like I think it's a good product. It's convenient and it's useful. The first three levels are free, which was about a month of content for me. I think the further the further on you are in learning Japanese, it might be kind of hard to pick up Wanikani, because if for your example, for example, if you're like N3 or N2 already, it's gonna probably take you like five or six months before you get to a point where it's already useful. But if you're like a beginner or you've only studied a year or two, you're N5, N4, N3, the beginning may be easy. But over time, like it'll teach you new words and new readings, like new ryoku, that means input, for example. Like I knew the kanjis already, I didn't know they could be read like that. And when I first saw it, I didn't really think there would be a context for me to use the word. But for example, boku no nihongo benkyo no apri, new ryoku o shimasu. 
So that means I will input it in my Japanese studying app. So again, the first three levels are free. You get about a month for it, and then after, you can spend like, depending on your currency, like eight to 15-ish dollars per month. And then from what I understand, once a year at New Year's, they'll give a $100 discount or something. Like right now, I could buy the whole, I could buy a lifetime access to this software for like 300 bucks, but if I wait till New Year's, it'll be like 200. I, I heard something like that, so that's what I'm waiting for. I think this is a really convenient and time efficient way to learn Japanese because it just saves you from needing to study the readings and various combinations of the words yourself. Like I used to study the Joyo kanji, which is like everyday use kanji. While it was definitely working, it was pretty time consuming. It would take me like an hour a day for five to 10 kanji or something. But with one ikani, over about a year and a half, with maybe 30-ish minutes per day, I'll get to around the same point, and I just find it more interesting. The layout is fun, and it's kind of like a game. So because of that, I do recommend Wanikani. I'm gonna keep continuing using it. It's not my only study tool though. I still use Anki. Like, I also play games in Japanese, so when I see a new word, I'll put that into my Anki deck, and I'll say, oh, Sunarashi. It means sandstorm. I mean, that's not an extremely beneficial word, but it's still probably good to know at some point, maybe. <laughs> that's just a word that's good for playing games, but it does help with the context of the sentence. And it's just another word that you know, and maybe in that sentence there's only one other word you don't know, and then you can figure it out by context. Maybe that word is describing the course of action of the sandstorm, something like that, and then you can learn that word then apply it to other sentences that you eventually see it in. Basically, that's just a reading. Reading for language comprehension. I also use Tandem to study Japanese, so I message a lot of people on Tandem. If they correct me or they use a sentence that I like, I'll take that sentence, I'll make sure I understand it, and then I'll make a flashcard of it in Anki, and then I just do that secondary flashcard setup. So far, this combination's worked very well for me. Wani Kani teaches me kanji and readings, and then I learn grammar from playing games and reading. And then I practice it with real people, and then they can correct me. So hopefully this video was useful or interesting. I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.